Welcome to Wisdom Trek with Gramps. I am Guthrie Chamberlain, and we are on day 2248 of our trek. The purpose of Wisdom Trek is to create a legacy of wisdom, to seek out discernment and insights, and to boldly grow where few have chosen to grow before. In today's Wisdom Nugget, I will guide you through the vast landscape of biblical wisdom. It's a pleasure to have you join me on this journey. Today our exploration takes us to the very heart of Proverbs in chapter 15, verses 29 through 33 from the New Living Translation. As we delve into these verses, let us seek the timeless wisdom that can bring clarity to our minds, peace to our hearts, and direction to our lives. Without further delay, let's dive into the wisdom of Proverbs. Verse 29. The Lord is far from the wicked, but he hears the prayer of the righteous. This verse draws a clear distinction between the relationship of the Lord with the wicked and the righteous. The Lord is distant from the wicked, but he hears the prayers of the righteous. So what's the solution to fostering a close relationship with the Lord? Where the solution is to walk in righteousness. Strive to live a righteous life. The Lord is attentive to the prayers of the righteous, so align your actions and your heart with his principles. Now let's explore verse 30. A cheerful look brings joy to the heart. Good news makes for good health. This verse highlights a positive impact of cheerful disposition and the good news on both emotional well-being and physical health. How can we apply this wisdom to our lives? We need to cultivate a cheerful disposition. Recognize the power of a cheerful look and a positive attitude. Embrace joy in your heart and share it with others. Good news not only uplifts the spirit, but contributes to good health. Verse 31 speaks to the importance of heeding correction. If you listen to constructive criticism, you will be at home among the wise. This verse underscores the value of receiving and heeding constructive criticism, positioning one in the company of the wise. But what's the key takeaway here? Well, we need to embrace constructive criticism. Recognize the wisdom in listening to constructive criticism. Through this openness to correction, you position yourself among the wise people. Now let's explore verse 32. If you reject discipline, you only harm yourself. But if you listen to correction, you grow in understanding. This verse highlights the consequences of rejecting discipline and the benefit of listening to correction, growth, and understanding. How can we apply this wisdom to our lives? Well, we need to embrace correction for growth. Understand that rejecting discipline only harms yourself. Instead, welcome correction as an opportunity for growth and increased understanding. Now let's turn to verse 33. Fear of the Lord teaches wisdom. Humility precedes honor. This verse emphasizes the relationship between the fear of the Lord, humility, and honor. Fear of the Lord teaches wisdom, and humility is the precursor to honor. What's the solution for gaining wisdom and honor? We need to cultivate fear of the Lord and humility. Recognize that true wisdom comes from fearing the Lord. Humility is the path that precedes honor. Cultivate both, and you'll find yourself on a journey toward greater wisdom and honor. And there you have it, my friends. A profound exploration of Proverbs chapter 15, verses 29 through 33 from the New Living Translation. These verses offer us timeless wisdom for cultivating a close relationship with the Lord, fostering well-being, and growing in our understanding and honor. As we continue on the journey through these pages of the Bible, remember that the wisdom it offers is our guiding light in navigating the complexities of life. Until the next time, keep seeking God's wisdom and make it a part of your daily trek. And if you found this podcast insightful, please subscribe and leave us a review. And then encourage your friends and family to join us and come along with us tomorrow for another day of Wisdom Trek, Creating a Legacy. Thank you so much for allowing me to be your guide, your mentor, but most importantly, I am your friend as I serve you through the Wisdom Trek podcast and journal. And as we take this trek of life together, let us always live abundantly, love unconditionally, listen intentionally, learn continuously, lend to others generously, lead with integrity, and leave a living legacy each day. I am Guthrie Chamberlain, reminding you to keep moving forward, enjoy your journey, and create a great day every day. See you next time for more Daily Wisdom.